SRX. Damn, this is uh, this is a lot more than I expected. I'm digging this. I'm digging this quite a bit. Yeah, I'm in Orlando, here to visit family for the week, and I reserved a Ford Taurus, but I'm in this Cadillac SRX. Not bad. All right, so how do I turn the fan down? Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Holy cow, everything is touchscreen. There's no tactile feedback at all. It's just all completely smooth, and it's a little bit weird. It's intuitive, it works, that's cool. All right, I gotta text my dad, let him know that I'm on my way, and uh, we'll be good to go. All right, let's do this. This is a big ass car. I just need to find my way out of here. This thing feels like brand new. It's got, holy cow, it's got, uh, wait a minute, I should not be looking at the gauges and driving at the same time. This thing is nice, holy crap. Damn, did they give me the wrong car or something? This is, this is too nice. This is my first time at Orlando Airport, so it's a little bit confusing to me. Here we go, oh, that's not so bad. Hello. Good. Is that one pro? Yes. Nice. Yeah. I'm recording my uh, my experience with this car. Okay. okay. I, ha I have a YouTube channel for cars, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get situated here. And let's get out of here. I have no idea where I'm going. This isn't good. <laughs> okay, I am doing too much at one time. This is not good. I need to get out of here. I got it, I got it, and this is not good. Google Maps is not talking to me. I need voice. Tell me where to go. Oh, shit. I think I'm actually going the wrong way. Automatic wipers, that's cool. Didn't even turn them on and they came on automatically. This thing is nice, holy crap. I don't like big SUVs. I mean, Trucks like this are just not my thing at all, but I'm digging this. This is cool. Does it get any more Florida than this? It's like a thousand degrees out, a thousand percent humidity, and it's raining. I love Florida. It's been a while since I've been here. It's been about a year and a half, maybe. Got a lot of family who lives out here, too, so I'm always out here, but it's been a little while since I've the last time. It's good to be back. Orlando, so far, is typical of what I know to be Florida. Just palm trees and rain and heat and humidity and yeah, this is Florida. Okay, so this thing's got 12,684 miles on it. It feels brand new. It smells brand new still. It's got the... Quarter mile. Use the right lane to take the Florida 528 East Ramp to Coco, Kennedy Space Center, Florida 417 Toll, Sanford UCF, Port Canaveral. I'm there. Anyway, what was I saying? Use the right lane to take the Florida 520... Not a rattle or a creak at all. This is just... This thing is rock solid. This is nice. It's a little bit floaty, as expected, going on the on-ramp here, and it's, you know, it's not that bad. You know, you consider most SUVs, are they sit really high, and they're really, really loose, and I don't know, this one feels really tight to me. It, it, there's that, a lot of body roll, as expected, but yeah, it feels Continue really tight. Continue Florida 528 East for 30 miles. Yeah, so I'm looking at about an hour and 45 minute drive here, so I'll get to know this thing quite well. Should be a good drive. Paying a toll here, I need cash, I need change. Florida tolls. Alright. Thank you. Alright, let's test the acceleration here a little bit. I'm not gonna do a quarter mile run or anything, but. Roads are a little bit wet. That's a little bit annoying. Roads are a little bit wet, so I don't want to get too crazy with this thing, especially since it's not a sports car. But overall, this thing is really comfortable. I mean, it's a, I've only gone, what, maybe five miles so far, but it's a great cruiser. Just really, just buttery smooth. It tracks very well. I mean, it's a brand new car. All cars should track well brand new, I think, but it just feels good. It, it really feels good. I, I keep saying that I, you know, I'm not an SUV guy. SUVs are just not my thing. Holy pink Cadillac, did you see that? Yeah, not an SUV guy. I just, I, I, I'm never excited to drive one, but this is kind of nice. This is, I can see myself driving cross country in this thing. It sits a little bit too high for my taste. It feels like a big ass truck. I don't know, just, can I lower the seat? No, that doesn't do anything. No, no, I don't want to go back. I want to go down. Let's 
There's gotta be a way to go down. There, no, that's not it. Okay, there we go. How does that feel? Well, I just ruined my seating position here. It's a little better. Not bad. Alright, snack time. I've been flying all day from San Diego. Started out at 4 a.m. this morning, left the house. It is now 5.34 in the p.m. here in Florida, and I'm a little bit hungry. Not bad. Airplane snacks. They're tiny, though. Mustang coming up. White Mustang. Yeah, boy. What the hell? I've only gone maybe 10 miles, but there's another friggin' toll booth. I'm gonna be broke by the time I get to Port St. Lucie. Whipping up them $1 bills. Caution. Toll booth. I know. Hi, Bob. Have a good day. Thank you. Alright, acceleration. That almost feels like wheel spin. Continue on Florida 528 East for 15 miles. That could not have been wheel spin. Okay, I've got to look up and see how much power this thing has because that was nuts. It wasn't fast, it just felt like it was just spinning. I did learn a fun trick though, and I don't think you can see this, or actually you will not see this, but if I put my hand closer to the windshield, it'll turn the windshield wipers on fast. Actually, now it's not doing it. But when I was turning on my GoPro for this little segment here, it just as soon as I put my hand up there, the windshield wipers were going crazy, even though it was just raining like this. So far, so good. I like this SRX. I've gone so far, I, I really like this thing. Can't really say too much bad about it, except for its size. I mean, I just don't like big cars, but that's no fault of this thing. It's just, it is what it is. There's a rattle. I hear it. Can you hear it? It just sounds like it's like coming across the entire window here. It's like the windshield is loose or something. Maybe it's a windshield wiper. It's like a, like a loose, hollow metal rattle sound. It's quite annoying, actually. So I've still got about 50 miles to go, and I've been driving in and out of some pretty heavy rain. This thing handles it great. I, just, I have not driven in rain like that in a long time. Keep in mind, I'm from Southern California. We don't see rain like that. But um, this thing is, is not bad. I mean, it's completely confident and comfortable in the rain. It feels rock solid. It went heavy, heavy downpours. I couldn't see 15 feet in front of me, and it would just felt solid and, and planted. Uh, you know, being up high like that in the rain is kind of nice, too, which is a good thing about an SUV, which I didn't really think about before. So, well, that's kind of good. This thing is just smooth. And that rattle is driving me nuts. What the hell is that? All right, I think I figured out the source of the noise. It sounds like water. It sounds like there is actually water trapped somewhere in the track up here 
maybe around or around the windshield or something, and it's just getting blown around by the by the wind. It just sounds like gurgling water. And considering all the rain that I just drove through, it wouldn't surprise me that that's that that's what it is. But still, you know, you think a car of this caliber, it'd be watertight. I think that's it. I think it. I think. I think. All right. Well, I got about 30 more miles to go, and I am losing light here. It's 6:30, 6:40. Uh, man, it gets, it gets dark early here in Florida. But uh, anyway, I figured I'd just do a quick wrap-up on this thing before it gets too dark and you can't even see me anymore. So overall impressions, I'm, I actually, this thing surprised me. It really did. I, I, you know, I, like, when it comes to SUVs, my expectations are always very low. It's just simply because it's a car or a type of vehicle that I don't like and I don't normally drive. But I kind of like this thing. It just feels good. It just, it, it doesn't feel too big to me. Going over a rough road like this, it doesn't seem like it's it's, it's jostling around. And it's, it's, it doesn't feel like it's all over the road. It just feels well, very well planted, which I really like. Uh, it's very car-like. It's just it's just it's just it's just yeah, I like that. It just I've never really driven an SUV that that feels like this. And granted, I have not driven a lot of SUVs in the past, so you know I, I don't have a lot of uh, you know, basis for comparison. So. It is what it is. Overall, I, I like this. It just it feels it feels right to me. It feels what an SUV should feel like. So some things that I don't like about it, um, you know, for what it is, there's really not much. I guess the center stack here with the, the touch controls, that's a little bit weird to me. It's kind of cool. It's, you know, since I've been using it, it's not so bad. But it's just it's still I'm not quite used to that yet. I'd actually I'd rather have real buttons there that I can actually press press down and feel like I actually did something when I press it but you know I could live with this thing I, I got a feeling my cars are going to go more towards this sort of thing in the future it's all touch control you know flush smooth you know, I'm, I'm cool with that it's fine it feels good that water in the sunroof that was driving me nuts I, I really think that was just water because I haven't hit any rain for the past 15-20 minutes and I think it all dried out and it just all blew away so if you're in the market for an SUV, don't discount Cadillac. I think that's what I should be saying here. This is this is actually surprising. You know, if, before I got in this thing, if you would ask me what a Cadillac SUV was like, I would think, oh, you know, it's just I know GM is making a comeback. I know their cars are getting better. I wouldn't put it on the same level as like a Lexus or an Audi or anything like that. But I've got to say, it, it, Cadillac really blew me away with this. I, not being paid to say this. I mean, this is, you saw it honestly. I just, I went to Avis and they gave me this car and it was just like, oh, hey. So I just, yeah, it just, it's, I, I really like this thing. I'm not going to go out and buy one. I'm not an SUV guy. I've said that a million times already. So just want to drive that point home. I don't like SUVs, but I like this one. It's cool. 